A bedroom is a place where you can take a rest and be yourself. But how can you be more relaxed if the clutter has conquered the whole space? You have to end this mess and take your safe haven back. If you are in your quest for some foolproof tips and tricks to organize your sleeping space, it is your lucky day. We have summed up these 12 minimalistic organization ideas for the bedroom. They are not only practical, but also chic. Let's have a look. And as always, Symfoam presents you with the list and relevant details you can find on the website. Number 12. How to build a bed under another bed. A small room makes you put up with the limited space. Therefore, your kids may have to share a bedroom. If you cannot have two beds in different spots, you can just stack them by building a trundle bed. First, you need to construct the frame using 1x8s. Then screw two 1x3s to the inside edge to support the plywood board that you will use to hold the mattress. After that, attach 1x3 crossbeams to the frame to keep the trundle bed aligned and sturdy. Then you can screw the plywood board. Next, attach the handles and casters. Number 11. Two unique ways to hide the TV in the bedroom. Number 1. The DIY TV Lift Electric Cabinet Idea Some studies have found that the TV should not be in the bedroom because it can have several destructive impacts. It can disrupt sleep cycles. However, some people just do not have more space for the TV in the living room. Therefore, they have no choice but to place it in the bedroom. If you have the same problem, you do not need to remove the TV whatsoever. You just need to make a DIY lift TV cabinet. It is a multi-purpose piece of furniture. It is basically a cabinet that looks like a dresser. When you open the top and press the button, you will find the TV coming out of it. This way, you will not see the TV all the time. To make this cabinet, you will need to make a box. The dimension will depend on the size of your TV. Then, install the front doors of the cabinets using surface mount hinges. Next, add the poles or knobs onto them. After that, install the cabinet top using hinges. You can also add safety chains that will hold it in place so that it will not flop backwards and injure someone. Finally, install the lift mechanism and TV, and you're all set! Number 2 Non-electric one by Deuce City's Hen House If you think a cabinet with a lift mechanism is rather expensive and complicated, you can try this more straightforward idea. You do not even have to make it from scratch. Just grab your old dresser and give it a new look with some fresh paint. After that, remove the top and add piano hinges to get better access. You can also consider replacing the top altogether with a sturdier piece like a solid pine because you will use the top of your dresser to hold the TV. Next, install lid supports that will hold the top at a perfect angle. Then, install the TV mount to the top of the dresser. Finally, you can hide it away. Number 10. The Minimalist Idea with Vintage Concept Doing a bedroom makeover can be thrilling However, it can be expensive too. Therefore, you need to prepare more than $350 to carve out a brand new look. Still, the options to overhaul the sleeping space on the cheap are always available. This bedroom, for example, offers the charm of modern vintage style. Most importantly, you will not spend a lot of money to create it. You can try installing faux wainscoting panels from some boards. Paint it charcoal gray for a more modern look. Instead of covering walls with wallpaper, which may be pretty expensive, you can just stencil it. It will help you salt away some money. The dresser accentuates the vintage look immensely. You can also have it by purchasing an old dresser from a flea market. Then, pull the poles and apply two coats of strippers to renew the look and emphasize its antique appearance. Next. Sand it down and apply an oil-based gel stain. Finally, replace the pulls and that's it. Number 9. The Hairpin Makeup Vanity Idea 
Having a multi-purpose set of furniture can save a lot of space in your small bedroom. This makeup vanity, for instance, serves you double duty. When you close the tops, you'll find a handy desk for your home office. Then open the lids and you will get more storage and a mirror helping you put on makeup. Making this makeup vanity is not that hard. You just need to make the frame. Once it is ready, attach the lids using full overlay cup hinges. Now install the hairpin legs. Number 8. A queen size bed makeover idea. If you are running out of space, you can try tapping into the area under your bed. That is why it is a terrific idea to raise your bed a few inches off the floor so that you can use the room beneath as storage. You can simply add some drawers with casters, baskets, suitcases, or even better, this platform bed. This modular platform bed consists of four main boxes and two front boxes that feature a basket idea. Two of the main boxes have drawers while the others do not. You just need to attach them together using screws so that they stay in place. The good thing about this modular bed is you can take them apart easily if you move out. You will find it easier to carry each box without any help. Number 7. A DIY Tilt Laundry Hamper Idea Having a laundry basket in a bedroom is necessary. It helps you cut the clutter instantly. However, a bunch of dirty clothes can be an eyesore. Therefore, you need to hide it away. This tilted laundry basket can hold the clutter at bay while keeping the minimalist look at its finest. If you are interested in making it, you need to build a cabinet. You will not use a piano hinge for the door. Use inset European concealed hinges instead. You will screw the hinges to the base of the cabinet to allow it to pivot and tilt out. Then, attach the bottom of the tilt doors right above the hinges, along with two sides that connect the door and the bottom. These sides will hold your laundry basket in place. Since the hinges will likely to pull in further than you might expect, add a block under the bottom panel so that it can rest on the top of the scrap wood. You may also need to screw another scrap into the cabinet. This way, the door will tilt at a certain angle you want because it will catch the scrap wood. Number 6. A Hanging Fabric Organizer Idea Using the vertical space is always a terrific idea to eradicate clutter. That is why you need to make this hanging fabric organizer. First, make the base by cutting a piece of heavy textile. The size will depend on where you will hang it. Second, mark the spots where the pockets will go. Now, some other pieces of fabric to create the pockets. Each fabric piece should be larger than the sketch you have made so that you complete it. Now, you can sew the fabric onto the base. Once the pockets are ready, you can make the hanging mechanism by cutting two fabric pieces to create suspenders. Finally, you can hang it with a dowel or rod. Number 5. A Door Shoe Rack Idea Look around and see whether you still have some vertical space that you have not tapped into yet. What about the area near the door? You can use it to organize your shoes. Simply attach some boards a few inches off the floor, all the way up to the ceiling. Well, it depends on the number of shoes you have. It will also be more excellent if you vary the height between the shelves so you can put your boots there too. Number 4. A Sliding Barn Door Idea The attic tends to be small. Therefore, you will find it hard to place a cupboard or a dresser. Still, you can find many ways to get rid of clutter. You can try creating this hidden closet. First, you need to create the knee wall. To incorporate a more rustic look, you can install sliding barn doors. When necessary, install a wood board as horizontal support beneath the ceiling so that the sliding barn door stays stationary at all times. One thing, a double barn door will ensure no gap between the one you install and the walls. Number 3. A DIY Flip Top Secretary Desk Idea Having a home office in the bedroom is such a great idea. 
However, the desk may take up some valuable space. Therefore, you should opt for this cabinet and desk combo. This desk features cabinets that you can use to store blankets or bed sheets at the bottom. You can find a lot of shelves on top to organize books, files, and stationery. The door that conceals the shelves features a brass latch that secures it in place. When you unlock it, the 90-degree surface mount hidden spring hinges and the lid supports will hold it in place, allowing you to have a functional desk to work on. Number 2. A TV cover that works as a decor as well. The TV may disrupt your sleep. Thus, you need to conceal it if you still insist on having it in your bedroom. This TV cover is such an ingenious idea to hide your TV away. You just need to cut the board to length. There will be three pieces of wood board that you will use to make the frame. Then, install drawer slides to the frame. After that, install the French cleat and large L brackets that support the frame. For peace of mind, try adding smaller L brackets on both sides of the frame. Finally, hang the artwork. Before I finish this countdown, support the channel by pressing subscribe button under the video. Please keep us in your subscription tabs for more home and garden improvement ideas like this. And finally, let's close our countdown with... Lastly, number one, DIY Kama Tatame from the DIY Core Carla Amadori. If you want to carve out the minimalist style in your bedroom, you should try this platform bed. First, you need to make the frame. Each side has to have an overlapping board on top. You will also need to screw corners to the four corners. This way, you can connect the frame and the headboard. Then, Attach a long wood piece that connects the headboard and the opposite side right in the middle. Now, you can screw the slats. Finally, put the mattress on the platform bed. Other details relevant to this specific idea. Number 1. Sketch the exact layout of all parts of this project. Number 2. Design the entire thing with a compass and a ruler. You can also draw lines on a piece of paper to draw out your plan. Number three, cut all the wood parts with an electric saw or a circular saw. Number four, use drywall screws and metal corner brackets to attach the slats onto the frame's four corners. For the following details, return to the link inside of the descriptions. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, press the like button comment it, or share it with anyone close to you on your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow the Symphone website for more awesome content related to home and decor ideas. Until we meet again, later, sometime in the future. Thanks for watching.